Welcome back to 843 TV. Once again, we have Kaylee and Kara with us from Daybreak Adult Care Services. Such a nice ring to that, by the way. I know, it, it is. Kind of like a, a girl's group. <laughs> um, so, you know, here I am, a daughter or a son who is trying to decide if it's that time, if I need to bring in mm -hmm. out of home care. When does that little bell go off in your head where it's that time? Sooner rather than later. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I imagine you don't want to wait for injury. Certainly. That's, you know, if in fact a, a person has had a fall or maybe their memory is sliding just a little bit, um, that's when we need to go because why wait until there's an injury? And when we come in and we're assessing the home, we've got a unique perspective here that yeah. the physicians don't get. Mm -hmm. So then we are an advocate for this person if we need to bring in other services along with Daybreak. Mm -hmm. So definitely don't wait until there's an injury. Don't no. wait until there's don't. a hospitalization. Right. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I would imagine too, like if you're noticing that they're continually forgetting medications yes. or confusing medications, I would think that that would be a good indicator as well. Yes, mm -hmm. things that are out of the ordinary. Okay. Mm -hmm. We talked earlier about the daybreak difference. Yes. Share with us about your team, which is a big part of that. Yes. Um, so as a whole, we are a team. Um, myself or Cheryl would come out for a consultation. Um, and then like she talked about, we would uh, choose caregivers that would be a great match and I have to say our caregivers are truly top-notch um, the owner and all of us are just very strict with um, who we bring on our team <laughs> well, that's honestly good. quite yeah. frankly <laughs> sure. I think people would be happy um, to hear that yes yes you know they are licensed bonded they are employees so they're not contract employees mm -hmm. um, they are drug tested background checks um, they have to have a lot of experience uh, and referrals so you know a lot of our clients consider them them friends and so it's important that we choose uh, wisely when we're building our team. Absolutely. That's, that's yeah. really terrific. Yeah. And of good. course family sharing with families <clears throat> about the experience they have with you will mm -hmm. go a long way exactly in the end for, for everybody involved. Mm -hmm. Now we had a nice little demonstration of what you offer in terms yes. of um, encouraging the physical life. Mm -hmm. What other types of things do you do? What other services do you offer? Well, we want to we want to focus on the physical, and that's mm. the activities of daily living. But then, second, um, we want to make sure that they are emotionally that, that we understand that they have physical, emotional, spiritual, and um, what's the other one? Intellectual. <laughs> yes, well, absolutely. Yes. We yes. do yes. need in exactly. intellectual because you know. I mean, I, yeah. I hate to say it, but I know there are circumstances out there where a caregiver will come over and just like you know, that babysitter that will park a child in front of the television. Right. Mm -hmm. I right. don't want my no. parent just parked in front of the TV no. all day. I want them to stimulate it. Read or yeah. be read to or, you know, whatever. Absolutely. And that's that's a something we want them to do as much as they can do. Mm -hmm. So if they can go um, grocery shopping, we'd love to do that. Take them to church on Sunday if they need that assistance. Mm -hmm. Whatever we can do, it's not just the house. We want them mm -hmm. to stay involved with their community, with friends. Um, if they wanted to have people over, even the caregiver can help, you know, make some hors d'oeuvres, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. coffee, oh. whatever. Kind of like a personal assistant yeah, in is. a sense. Yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. Exactly. Go to the yes. movies. You know, we really want to keep yes. what they love alive and, you know, keep it going for them. Because truthfully, all of those other things impacts your physical yes. wellness. So yes. if you're emotionally and spiritually yes. sound, then the rest will Well, it's that, you know, the whole thing. And I, and I love it that doctors are really getting on board with this, you know, use it or lose it. Mm -hmm. And that isn't just your body. Right. It's right. your mind and your heart as well. Yeah. So it is. It is. Mm -hmm. I heard a, a staggering um, statistic just recently that um, one in three of people over 80 have some form of dementia. And that's that does, I mean, I, I hate to say, but that doesn't totally surprise right. me, but I do think that often goes unaddressed. Right. And the, the Southeast is very high as compared to the rest of the nation. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yep. You mentioned 80. Is it true our time in here is people's lifespans seem to be going into those 80s and even 90s. 90s. So yes. the Absolutely. care term of care in a sense could be a decade or more. Yes. And I, I mean, I have many peers whose parents who are in their 90s still living on their own in their home, mm -hmm. which is great, but yeah. that's where something like you, it we gives us in. peace of mind. Mm -hmm. 
And yes. sometimes people don't need us long term. Maybe they've had a hospital stay exactly. and they're having home health, but they need somebody that's going to be there longer right. and just provide um, the assistance that they need mm -hmm. so that they can go home and not turn around and go right back to the hospital. Sure. Briefly, how do you guys handle when a family isn't local? You know, if, the, if that family's mm -hmm. in close by, how do you handle that? Well, for here, that's very common. Mm -hmm. um, we see that a lot. And, you know, if they're involved, which usually they are, um, we will have, you know, many phone conversations with them. We keep them in the loop. Uh, you know, the client comes to us and that's their desire. We definitely make that happen. Um, so it's pretty seamless, to be honest. I feel like a lot of the long distance um, family members feel like they're not as long distance. We kind of make it seem like, we bridge that gap. Sure. Yeah. And a lot of times, you know, we're, we're heading into the holidays. Mm -hmm. And uh, families come in and they see the difference mm -hmm. from their last visit. And they say, oh my goodness. You know, so our, we're very busy around the holidays. Yes. Because that's when the families actually get to see what's going on with mm -hmm. mom and dad. And reach out. That's yeah. fantastic. Well, we've learned a lot. Yes. And we hope that our audience has learned a lot today and we'll inquire and you know before it's a time of need and check out daybreak yes thank you. absolutely thank you. thanks absolutely. for being here mm -hmm. well thank you for being oh. here and thank, <laughs> thank you, you for having for being us here and thank you joining for us watching. for another episode of 843 tv where communities come to speak